Uh, should be nice. Should be cool. Classic LAN or camp, yeah. Yeah, we, we're back. I uh, I don't remember actually. I I don't remember how much um, I I used to make on the succession. I I know I did a recording, um, maxing out everything. Agris Agris uh, coin, yellow loot scroll, like all of that stuff. But, but just with a yellow, I I don't remember. So we will see. We will see how good this is. It is pretty interesting and fun to uh, to play both the Vusa and the um, and the Succession Land. Uh, I can't really say that I miss PvP. <laughs> can't can't really say. Feel uh, you rely that uh, why you feel I what you feel <laughs> I feel you on that <laughs> God damn it yeah I feel you on that I only do uh, PvP when I'm done grinding uh, for the day yeah so that, that's how I used to do it for the longest time it's like by by the end of the day um, when when I had some spare energy over I would do PvP. I could never really do it in the beginning, because if I did it in the beginning, I would have no energy to do anything else. Um, it's just like draining way too much energy. It shouldn't really be like that. Hey Daikun, how you doing buddy? I couldn't do Thornwood earlier, because I was bugged out. For me too. So I was pissed. Yeah, so it, it bugged out for me like all day yesterday. I I, I, I didn't want to do it. I was supposed to do it like in the beginning of the stream right here, but um, I I actually don't want to deal with it. We will see if we do it later or not. I don't know, but I I just don't like. I don't I don't want to deal with it. Doing good, Daikun. Nice, nice. Hey, boy, yeah. Uh, you watched the YouTube video on the LAN. Uh, what is what is better out there uh, with the two um, for PVE Awakening or Succession? 
Uh, right now the succession is a little bit better. But uh, not, not a big difference, uh, pretty small difference. Yeah. In in my opinion, you should play the one that you um, that, that you find is more interesting because the difference is not really too great. But, uh, that's what I would recommend. Yeah, I, I want to see how much um, how much loot we can get here at the orcs. I I could kind of see it being less than Vusa because the the Vusa has like very big AOEs and such. Um, but maybe maybe you can capitalize on being faster. It's like uh, mobility wise. Um, Yeah, we, we'll see, we'll see. It's gonna be an interesting hour. We play Awakening uh, in case some uh, someone uh, tries to kill me. Uh. Uh, that way I can chain them, um, but don't feel strong AOE-wise. Yeah, understandable. Um, you, you don't need to you don't need to care too much about duo for spot or anything. It, it's always good to have one. Uh, like if you don't care about no war, it, it's it's always good to have one very good one versus one class. But but you can tag that right, and and then you can play whatever for PVE. So if if someone shows up, you can just um, you can just swap character. But yeah, awakening awakening Lan is very comfortable in in that way. It, it is pretty good in PVE and it's pretty good in P, like PVP one versus one. So if if you want to be a little bit lazy and um, you want to be a little bit comfortable. It's a pretty nice class to just um, to uh, to to sit on, you know. You're new, you have uh, 45 to 46 days uh, playtime and on console too, so I'm very behind in content. I uh, see you play Vusa too. Do you enjoy more? Oh, who do you enjoy more? I, I enjoy LAN more, but I, I've been a LAN ever since the beginning of time. So uh, for me personally to play something else for a little bit, it's pretty important that I do that because like yeah, to, to keep on enjoying BDO really. But I, I played LAN for five years. I uh, I do play Vusa too now because it's very fun to play. But I, I still I still love the LAN way more. I'm I'm a LAN main until 
until we get another flying class in, in BDO. Yeah. So Vusa, Vusa is very fun to play. Uh, big AoEs, uh, nice damage. It looks nice. It feels good. Um, it's not shucky, like shucky movements really, but you can get around that if you want to. Otherwise, uh, Vusa is pretty, like it's pretty perfect. Perfect to be honest, like grinding, grinding wise. Lan, Lan feels good. It looks cool. It is amazing. Uh, but then it can lack a little bit in um, efficiency, really. Otherwise, it's the perfect class to enjoy. Hey, Hunsapa. How you doing, buddy? She is my first class from the season, and then I uh, time-pieced um, to, to our witch. And it was definitely a bad choice. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, but now now you know. Uh, at least you were... Um, do, do I want to say brave? You were brave enough to try out a new class in BDO. Uh, not too many people do that, to be honest. You've been chilling? Oh, nice. Yeah. Classic. Uh, did you try Dekia Thornwood? Yeah, but it's bugging out all the time and it's, it's making me crazy. It's bugging out all the time and uh, like there's, you can't really find a rotation anyway because it's super contested and... Um, we will see if I can do it today. But I'm I'm only I'm only gonna try one time. I'm gonna try one time, and if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. <laughs> fuck, fuck that shit. I'm I'm wasting my fuel. Are are they gonna are, are PA gonna compensate me for my fuel? I don't think so. Video is a learning uh, journey. You learn along the way. That is true. Very true. Bugging out how? Um, you activate the lantern, but it doesn't. It doesn't have like nothing happens. Do you know what the proper value of Fang is? No, I have no idea. I I am doing it at the right spots, yeah. But it is bugging out. Are you doing Attilas? How's it going, buddy? Yeah, I I know. I <laughs> I I know where you can activate the lantern. It's just the bugs out on me. I don't know why. I don't know why it bugs out on me. People told me to like stand still. I've been standing still. I, I stand still for minutes. Not nothing happens. And and then I run away from the rotation. And then it, it the lantern gets spawned on a road like a random road. Like it, God damn it. <laughs> it! It makes me really pissed. Like I get pissed. I don't like it at all because they had it out. They had that content out now. I I don't I don't even want to talk about it. The witch was cool, but just uh, far too slow. After playing LAN, it just feel felt horrible being so slow. Yeah, that can happen. Get used to the speed. Need for speed. You back from weekend vacation? Oh, nice, Attilas. Did you have a good vacation?
Yeah. Okay. Nice. Imagine PEA releasing Lantern on KR first and it still launches uh, bugged. Yeah, but uh, that's the thing, right? Because a lot of people, they um, they love to say that KR is a beta server or whatever. It's not a beta server because they never fix anything. <laughs> every time, every time we wait for content, we wait and wait. And and then we get the content. They haven't fixed anything. After, after like f two, three weeks, they start fixing stuff. So like, what was the point really? What was the point of... Like the, there is no point. It's just KR favoritism, and and people refuse to believe that there are such a thing as as, as KR favoritism. But I I know I know it exists. Uh, they they don't they don't do any troubleshooting over at KR. <laughs> what? What? No, no, they don't. They, they just give them the content, they play with the content before we can play with the content. And then they wait a few more weeks, and then they try to fix it. And then they try to fix it. How was your vacation? It was amazing. Amazing. We had, uh, we, we ate barbecue, uh, we... Um, we, we were watching the ocean. We, we couldn't swim in the ocean because there was too many birds around. Uh, apparently they shit all over the place and uh, so it's a little bit of a disaster. Um, yeah, we played played some golf. Um, we, we were eating food like non-stop. Non-stop eating food. We, we went to this... Um, uh, they were like a band. They, they were playing some jazz music or whatever. We threw, threw a few, few balls on cans and um, <laughs> played played on a lucky wheel or whatever. I, I bought I bought half of the numbers. I didn't even win. I'm I guess so disappointed. How how is it that I can smash things in BDO with a two percent, but I can't I can't win in real life when it's like fifty five percent. I don't I don't know. I don't get it. KR get uh, perfect servers after all. Yeah. I mean they they have perfect servers, uh, they get content faster, better content, nicer content. Um they they get that fresh brand uh, smell content, you know. But it is it's not like they are fixing anything. <laughs> like when when have they ever when have they ever been ready like they they gave us something on EU NA and and then they never did anything like the week after when when was that ever a thing usually usually it goes like this KR gets the content EU NA and all of the other regions we have to wait and we wait and wait it can take sometimes a very long time Sometimes it can take a shorter time. And and then eventually we get the content, right? We already know what the content is. We we seen it. We uh, we we know exactly what to do. We we bought all of the items from the marketplace that we need. Um But yeah, and and then we do it on EU and NA. And and then it's bugged. It's always bugged. There's always a bunch of faults with it. And and then you think like oh why is there a, uh, like why why is there a bunch of fault with uh, with the thing? <laughs> oh yeah, it's because they haven't done anything with it. They they gave it to KR and they let it be there and and then they gave it to us and and then they they be like oh yeah true we need to fix this bug right here. True true. Yes. <laughs> so that that's how it goes. That's how it goes every single time. Uh, at least to my recollection. Hey Shakaras, how you doing buddy? So I'm I'm not a big fan. I'm I'm not a big fan of KR getting shit before everyone else gets shit. I I'm a big proponent against it. 
if if it was truly like that, if it was truly like 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 KR being a beta server and PA fixing a bunch of things, like yeah, sure, okay, I'll I'll take that. But but like nothing is being fixed though. <laughs> where, where where is all of the fixes? Because every time we get something, it's all bugged out and like it doesn't work and 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 it, it can be even the most like the basic basic stuff, you know, like like activating a lantern at at Thornwood Forest. Like how how is that bugging out? <laughs> how is it bugging out? Hey mayonnaise, how you doing, buddy? And and that's just one example. It's just one example of um, of of many examples. So many examples. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a big fan. I I totally understand if uh, if they release like new content and some of it can be bugged on release. You know, like that. That's pretty. That's pretty normal. But if they already released the content one time, they, first they had it on global, and, and then they released the content one time, and, and then they wait like a few weeks. And and then we get the content. Like the, there should be very minimal, very, very, very minimal amount of like things that aren't working. It should almost not even exist. That's how small it should be, you know? That's what she said. <laughs> what skills heal you as a succession lan, just out of curiosity? Um, S, S, L, and B. But, but usually um, usually you don't really do that either like you don't really do that but you 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 could do it you could do it but you don't really do it the uh, the thing is that you like the, no, like in in my opinion, the only thing that could be worth it is is SLMB, but but it's not really worth it otherwise because usually, usually you play with a bunch of um, elixirs that give you HP on hit, and usually you just want to do as much like hit as possible to maintain getting HP. So you kind of just have to keep on going with your combo because you also need to kill the monsters, right? They'd be wrecking you otherwise. But yeah, usually, usually is buffing up. Uh, have have a bunch of elixir gives you HP on hit. Uh, usually, that's good enough. Um, yeah. Do you like doing lantern tarot with me after your hour? I I did tarot. I I don't know two days ago. I, I don't plan on going back to Turo in in quite a while. It it wasn't really worth it. And I, I do have a few other things I need to prepare. I I need to get money, I need to get cups, I need to get um need to get the Debo earring. So yeah, I don't. I don't reckon. I don't reckon I'll go back to Turo un unless they buff it. To be honest. I think they stretched themselves um, a bit thin with the new region release and lantern so close. Uh, they they kinda definitely did do that, yeah. 
the uh, the new the new region they kind of went all in on that for for people that haven't played video before and wanted to do boss content so they they just uh, they just released like 11 bosses in one patch like they they went all in with that one so much content in like in in no time really So obviously, obviously a few things is not gonna work. Like if if they're trying to stress uh, the content releases and um, but they they didn't really have to do that in my opinion. They they didn't need to release like ten bosses because we can't do ten bosses on a weekly basis anyway. We can we can do five bosses on a weekly basis if we want to. Yeah, what they what they could have done, uh, in my opinion, what would be b better for the game that I would feel like um, is is that if they release like six bosses, they they release six bosses, six different MSQs, and and then they also worked a little bit on casual like PVE grind and t taking away caps from PVE, for example, like balancing PVE. They, they could focus on stuff like that and and then um, every like two months they release a new bus into into the bus splits or whatever but not, not really a reason like there is zero reason to release 10 buses in the beginning you can only do five that, that doesn't really make any sense Could be argued that the bosses aren't even worth it. Um, so you're probably um, lucky opening a Garmoth bundle than a bus bundle. Yeah, true, true. I I'm pretty sure I won't do bosses after I'm done with the urinal. As as soon as I'm done with the urinal, I'm not gonna do the bosses. And and then there's not not really a reason to do the urinal either, to be honest. Hey Axionis, how you doing buddy? Yeah, I, I don't have a camera right now because um, I'm, uh, I'm actually recording. Hello YouTube. I'm recording a um, somewhat casual, somewhat sweaty hour at Orc. No, I can't really say sweaty. It, it doesn't really make any sense. <laughs> I'm, I'm recording a casual hour at Orc, okay? So I, I'm just gonna kill these guys. And, and then we see how much um, how much we get with the yellow. Wee. I was watching your video at Orcs. I wanted to do 30k token, but I have a class issue, I think. Um, yeah, I mean, what, what class do you play, Axionis? Guardian? Yeah. It could be could be a class uh, thing. I I don't know exactly how good Guardian is. But if if you have an issue being close, like if uh, if if you're far far away from thirty uh, k, then. It kind of has to be a class issue. Do you want to do Allen in 20 minutes with me and the warrior? Um, I, I can't do it in 20 minutes. I can do it in uh, 30... Uh, 35. 
but if if you can if, if you guys can't do it in 35 um, yeah just just go ahead start <laughs> no but I'm I'm actually like I'm recording a video right now so I I need to do the hour I have to do the hour otherwise uh, the video is uh, not not good Hey Qfal, how you doing buddy? I just had a nice hour at Gyphen, 15.3k. Oh nice. You're gonna live there even more when they buff the trash amount um, soon coming. Hmm. Yeah, sounds very cool. Sounds like a lot of money. I did something really bad yesterday, I grinded mobs in BDO. Shit, here we go again. Uh, but uh, that's nice, Kufal. Well, welcome back. Welcome back to BDO. No sound? Oh no. I'm getting muted. Isn't there a monster zone that has trash loot that is worth 107k for each one? I thought the place would yield a lot of silver. Um, it, it there is, I think, but uh, but you don't get that much trash. So um, so no, not really. Believe it or not, but usually, usually in BDO. The end game grind spots are usually not the best for money per hour. That is usually how it is. <laughs> and that might surprise a bunch of people, but um, yeah, I mean, it is where it is. It, it was a little bit more like that back in the days. It was a little bit more like that.
attacking you. And I, I guess also if you don't have a shy, you get CC'd all the time. No, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend. But you, you don't really lose anything, uh, you don't lose any crystals, at least right now, if you die to monsters. Sense of achievement is the reason. Yeah, but what's the point? <laughs> what is the point? They're just gonna nerf it anyway. Yeah, I, I, I get it, I can. I get it. I I done many things in BDO that gave me that gave me nothing. Just so I could like believe for myself that I was doing something very cool and amazing, right? And and then I gave myself a purpose or reason to do it and um, and and you know, like like a few weeks later, they they were just nerfing the whole thing, so everyone was like doing the same thing that I was doing. Um, yeah, but for no reason. I watched a short the other day, and the guy was like, yeah, how to beat Ranger, and uh, he was like, F find a big tree, hide, be hide behind the tree. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's kind of how you have to fight against uh, archers and rangers. So you have, to, you have to hide behind bushes and stuff. Behind obstacles. Time to go back to work. Well, okay, Kufal. Thank you for hanging out. Good luck at the works. Including you can win any fight nowadays with a LAN. I can't win any fight with a LAN. I mean, um, I against uh, against the broken. No, I mean, I I can, but I'm also 750 gear score. <laughs> I I can't uh, if if they have the same gear score. Like you, usually people want to play like the Buster classes. They they just want to do that, right? Uh, you you're not gonna get away from it. You lack, you lack DPS to kill Zerkers and uh, Warriors and Valkyries. They can obviously kill you. It, it doesn't like... It doesn't matter. And, and then if you roll up on a specific class like Hashashin, like you can kill a Hashashin, but they can also wipe your ass. Like they can kill you so fast. You, you run into a Archer or something, you, you can kill them, but they can also like one-shot you. Um, yeah, there's not a single class in BDO that is gonna be like, eh, easy peasy. I mean, may maybe an Awakening Guardian, maybe, maybe an Awakening Guardian and a Shy, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, Lan Lan has a pretty good. Um, they they can see see other people pretty nicely, so as long as you have enough DPS output to kill them. It is a pretty strong class. But at the same time, at the same time, you get one-shotted by every single class out there. If if you don't land that grab, you're kinda screwed in all of the situations. Except for fighting maybe a Corsair. Or, or maybe um maybe fighting a I I don't know. <laughs> you you have to have your grab. Otherwise, you're screwed. Yeah, Awakening Guardian can be tricky if they jump around a bunch and um, because they do have a shit ton of damage. Um, if they just get a few hits in on the land and the land missed the grab, um, you, you can't really do anything against the Guardian until you get the grab back.
yeah. People people make it out to be like LAN is the most best amazing class there ever was, but um, as it is and as it has been for a long time now, if if you don't land a grab, you're dead. Yeah, that's just how it goes. Good luck landing the grab is like 12% reliable. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if, if anything, just like increase the land DPS to 2000% uh, skill damage, but take away the grab, you know? Take away the grab. And, and then make it warrior, like warrior tanky too. And we will see how much fun that is. Because there are a bunch of classes that are already that strong. They, they have all of the tankiness on the world. And, and they also have all of the DPS on the world, you know? So you see how much fun that is. I, I don't need no grab. I, I don't want a grab that doesn't work. It sucks. <laughs> what am I what am I doing with the grab? Can't, can't even kill people if even if I land the grab. But I, I don't PvP anymore. Uh, that's that's the that's the result. I, I don't wanna PvP anymore. I stopped doing PvP a long time ago. I, I don't I don't think about it, I don't do it. Because I, I don't wanna grief myself. I heard, uh, wait, LAN takes 20% extra damage uh, than other classes, uh, whether that is true or not, I don't know. Uh, sounds to be uh, pretty true. I, I don't know what the exact number is, but uh, LAN is one of the most squishiest classes in BDO. It, it could be the squishiest, it could be like the second, second to, you know, squishiest. But, but yeah, it's down there, touching the bottom. And if, if you have decent damage output at the same time as being one of the most squishiest classes in the game, I mean, you, you all, like everyone knows what that means. If you don't land that grab, you're dead. That, that's what it means. And uh, yeah, I mean, good luck landing the grab. Uh, for, for me personally, it's like t like 12% reliable. 12%. For me personally. Adding all of the percentages into the mix. And, and then sometimes, even if you land a grab, you can't even kill people. So, um, yeah. It's, it is a pretty fun class to play. A class that you have to put way more focus into, a way like you have to put way more money into it. You have to put way more effort. And and then you get shit on at the end of things anyways. You get rolled up by some like some dude is one shotting you with a under gear score difference or Yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. You gave up on LAN? Yeah, I, I know about many people, many people that, that didn't want to play LAN anymore because it wasn't, they didn't feel their gear score. No one stopped playing LAN because it was like, oh no, it was so strong, I had to stop playing LAN. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no one ever said that, ever. I, it was way too strong for me, chat. I, I don't know, I didn't want to play it. Squishiest, uh, you and lingered uh, regen stamina. Nice design. Yeah, I mean, in the current meta of things, um, it, it doesn't hold ground at all. The, the LAN in this meta is terribly bad. Terribly bad, unless you have a very big gear score difference. But like that, that's the thing. Like that's the thing with all of the classes. If if you have a very big gear score difference between like all of the classes, you can you can get away with it sometimes. But but that's not really a good. Like I, I hate saying that. 
if only you had a big gear score difference so you could like get away with something. No, it, it doesn't even work like that. <laughs> you get one shotted by 650 gear score archers and you two shot the same 650 gear score archer as a 750 gear score lamb. And, and this is not the only class that, that has like that big difference of like what it feels like. But, but yeah, I mean, one, one of the reasons why I don't want to do PvP. One of the reasons. So that, that's why I haven't done it in... Um, I haven't done PvP in a while now. And I, I enjoy BDO way more. Because I'm, I'm not focusing on, on the broken shit. And, and I actually mean broken in the sense of broken, like it's not good. It's broken in the sense of not good. It, it used to be very good. It used to be extremely good. But yeah, that was a long time ago. I think we should come together and message PA telling them to buff LAN. Yeah, but uh, they're not gonna do anything like that. And they, they don't have anyone over at PA playing the class. So they, they don't really know. They have no idea, really. Which is very sad, of course. You only PvE on uh, her? Because you love the class? Yeah, me too. Me too. Only PvE. Is Ninja any good to play? Uh, Ninja is very good to play. Both in PvE and in PvP. Basically Alan with 700 gear score is uh, the meta class with uh, 620 gear score. Exactly. I I tried to I tried to like I tried to say that to so many people. <laughs> you, you know how it feels like you can go to places a little bit before recommended gear score if you play the very strong classes right uh, let's say that you recommended like 600 gear score you can go there like 560 gear score if you play a very strong class uh, that was never the case for LAN not even PvE and not for PvP ever not even when it was broken strong. Not even back in the days when it was broken strong. You like you would still die back in those days. Like if if someone CC'd you, you die. But the the reason why it was so strong back in those days was because the grab, the grab actually worked a little bit better. How how it's supposed to be working. And and your DPS was good enough to kill most people. But, but both of those uh, things kind of um, it, it fell into the sand. You you don't really have enough DPS output anymore to kill most people, and and then the grab doesn't really work that good anymore because the game is like five thousand times faster, and and you have tw twice the amount of desync, at least at least twice the amount of desync. And, and they never like they're never gonna do anything with anything like any anything that we're talking about right now stamina dps output squishiness hp like trying to heal back up they, they're not gonna fix anything because they don't know anything about this class and uh, that's the that's the most like saddest thing ever so you, you know what we have to wait for we have to wait for a LAN 2.0. It's, it's going to be a new flying class. And, and that class they might know a little bit about because it's like a thing that they're working on in the moment. They, they might actually know a little bit about that class. Yeah. So we, we just have to wait for the LAN 2.0.
Hey Bebeto, how you doing buddy? 15% damage nerf was too much for my Magulina. The 12% was enough. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know about Magu. It, it did need it. Uh, it, it, it was needed a, a nerf though. It, it needed to get nerfed. And so does a lot of more classes, obviously, but... Even Corsair could destroy a land since Awakening has uh, ranged a CC, Evasion, Shred, and a Grab. Yeah, I, I had many Corsairs that were wrecking my life. I couldn't do anything about it. Evasion, Succession, Corsair. You, you don't have enough DPS to kill them. You, like, you don't have accuracy, you don't have AP in the game to kill them. And eventually, you lose out on the DPS trade. Because they can hit you. You you can't hit them. They, they're going to do more damage on you. It, it might take a very long time, but um, they, they're still going to win. Let's not talk about the split second iframe that doesn't even work. Yeah. I mean, uh, apparently it works um, doing bosses. But, but not in every other, like, in any other type of PvE, it doesn't really work. Why why do I die to, like, crypt monsters if I spam the, um, the, the iframe side dash or whatever? <laughs> it's because I get hit. But, but apparently it works, it works pretty goddamn good doing the bosses. Which is pretty weird. Lan is not the only tragic class. True. I I don't even like I I don't think Lan is a tragic class. I think it's just a forgotten class. Like they they just they just forgot to update it three years ago. <laughs> they forgot to update it three years ago. And and usually when it comes to when it comes to Classes that doesn't scale good APDP wise, and and then and then they also being forgotten, right? Usually, what happens is that they become less and less good with time, because the average gear score keeps on going up and up. That that's usually what happens. But yeah, the the LAN is a forgotten class. They they haven't really done anything with the class. Since it got released five years ago, they they made a few changes. Most of them being nerfs, like like ninety nine percent of them being nerf. When are they nerfing Succession Circer and Vusa? Hopefully soon. Hopefully very soon. I I've been talking about it since the beginning of time, Ebeto. But I, I want them to nerf all of the broken busted classes. And I, I want them to buff all of the weak classes. And if if they were to do that, like most of the classes are gonna be totally fine. Totally like very good. But for whatever reason, probably money, probably PA wants your money, so they they don't do it in that way. They um, they don't give a shit how they balance. They do random balancing, and and that creates unbalance, and unbalance gives PA money. So that that's the whole business plan. It, it has to be. Like that, there can, can't really be another explanation, really. They gotta change it to perma iframe, and they're going with a squishy approach. Yeah, they have to do something. They, they can't take away the mobility, and uh, we, we maintain even more squishy than how we used to be. And, and you know. Like, well, what are we gonna, we're just gonna die. We, we're gonna stand there and we're gonna die. 
but uh, but they don't have anyone playing LAN, so they don't know about that. Like they, they don't know about anything when it comes to this class. And and that's why you see those uh, you see those changes. Uh, you'd be like, what the fuck? <clears throat> Ace tracks, how you doing, buddy? They buff for KR meta, not EU meta. That is true. That is true. But I I was speaking more of like more as a. Um, you know, they, they should really want to balance the game from a balancing point of view, not, not, from, a, uh, not from a popular um, point of view. We, uh, we pretty much know like what, what is the best classes, like who, who is the strongest classes. We, we pretty much know that like most of the times. And, and so does PA, I would believe. Oh good, hope all is well here as well. Yes, all all is well. Okay, our meta is cringe. <laughs> Wanna hear a hot take? Corsair and Succession Nova will turn uh, into a good PvE class um, before Lan gets stamina buff or become more tanky. I think I think that might be true. That, that could actually be true. Hopefully that's not the case. But, but yeah, that could, could be true. Yeah. Sad part is I don't really find uh, the other classes as enjoyable playstyle wise right now kind of forced to learn a class I don't necessarily like. Yeah, and that's, uh, that's a pretty sad uh, thing if you feel like that. I, I personally feel like the LAN is uh, strong enough to enjoy and uh, play. But not in PvP. If, if you're doing casual PvP like, like capped node war maybe okay if if a guild allows you to play awakening awakening lan okay <laughs> go go and enjoy cap node war you know but uh, no cap you you simply just not gonna enjoy it no one is no, no one is really gonna have you in their guild really in in the first place unless you know people like they they are friends they let you play lan like whatever, and and when it comes to one versus ones, um, like yeah, you can use it for a like duo for spot class, and it's gonna be okay. But but if you're gonna roam around on Arsha PvP on a on an awakening land, yeah, good luck, good luck. See, so you're not gonna have that much fun, believe me. <laughs> believe me, you're not gonna have that much fun. And I'm I'm not I'm not only talking about like uh, are you gonna are you gonna wreck everyone are you, are you gonna like you know kill everyone I, I'm not only talking about that I'm also talking about how do you play the class how does it feel like playing the class do you get one shot at all the time like what what you have to do in comparison to what other people have to do they they could have literally a hundred less gear score than you. And, and they're gonna feel as strong, if not even stronger than you. And, and then you think like, oh, what was what's the fun in this? Like, why, why did you spend five thousand more hours gearing up to feel weaker? And, and obviously that's not a it's not a fun uh, it's not a fun feeling uh, 
Honestly, a gunner class would be a nice alternative instead of everyone wanting Necro. Um, yeah, I I do like Necro Gunner. I don't know. Is this gonna be another range class that is like sitting in a tree or something? Necro. Uh, I I guess they can have semi semi uh, ranged skills. I I prefer a Necro. Like, like a dark class, not not with a pets. Pets is gonna break the game, uh, but like a necro without a pet. <laughs> we made uh, twenty eight thousand one hundred forty two trash loot. <laughs> 